Hi, I'm Jan from NCP Technology. In this video, I will show you how to do a firmware update in our DAD AX32 and Penta 720 products. The same principle also applies to our other DAD products such as the DX32R and the Penta 721. In order to do a firmware update, you use the Deadman software. First step is to go into the settings and device list. Make sure you can see the unit in the device list. Select it. And once you're sure you have a connection with it, you can click on it like here. If you look down here in the main board, you will notice the CPU firmware version is mentioned here. In this case, it is 2.3.1.4. If you want to upgrade it, simply go up on the unit, right click on it, select firmware update, select the file. In this case here, we are updating to 2.3.2.1 and click open. Now comes up with a warning which says you're up to, about to update the firmware of a unit and after update the unit will have a firmware version 2321. If you have the same version installed in the unit already, you will also receive a warning that you are simply reinstalling the same firmware. And if you are trying to load an older firmware into a newer unit, then you will also get a warning about that. So very important, do not turn power off or disconnect the network cable during the update. So once you're ready, you simply click yes, and then the firmware update starts. This takes about 15 minutes, so you will have time for a cup of coffee and uh, enjoy a short break while the firmware download goes on. So now the firmware update is almost complete. We're just waiting for the last few records to be downloaded. And in a moment, we'll get a message saying that it's completed. There we go. So now it says that the firmware update is complete. And we need to restart the unit uh, in order to get the firmware activated. So we'll simply click OK. And the unit is restarted automatically, as you can see. This takes another few seconds. And now when the unit is ready, we click on it again. And we can now confirm that the CPU firmware is now 2321. So it has been completed uh, with a firmware update. A very important thing to note about the firmware update is that after the firmware update, the unit is usually reset to factory default. It can therefore be a very good idea to make a backup of all the settings in the unit. So in this case, you go to File, Save, and then you simply save your settings. That way, once you have completed the firmware download, and the unit has been reset to factory default, you can always load those settings again by going to File, Open, and selecting the file again. So that's how simple you do a firmware update in a DAD AX32 or a Penta 720.